Colorado is an amazing place with amazing natural beauty, an amazing place to see music, and now amazing wine. What a place to come visit. We are finally getting the appreciation of good food, good wine, and that it really does matter where the food and the, and the wine is sourced. And it comes from Colorado. I'm Sue Phillips, I'm the owner of Plum Creek Winery. I'm Michelle Cleveland, I am the uh, winemaker for Creekside Cellars. My vacations, once I graduated college, were centered around visiting national parks and certain wine regions. Colorado is driven by pioneers. It is these people who started a wine industry. Uh, my name is Ola Metz, and my husband John and I own uh, Brooklyn Vineyards, a Boulder, Colorado winery, making wine from 100% Colorado-grown grapes. So we've always done well in the Governor's Cup competition, the, all the best Colorado wines, which is top 12 wines in Colorado. In fact, last year we won with our ensemble, which is the best of show. It's fun to be able to taste 10 different styles or varietals together and really see the differences. And it's nice to see that they're all from Colorado and what Colorado has to offer. I was amazed. Technically, these wines are beautifully made and for, from a consumer's point of view, they hit the spot. <laughs> Winning the Governor's Cup is important because at Creekside we have this loyal following, but importantly if I could bring that cup back to Evergreen, put it on the wine bar for our customers to see, because it, it builds community. It was especially exciting last year at the Colorado Historical Museum to see the governor again. Yes, he's a beer guy, but you know, he loves wines too. I'd like to win that double gold medal. But you know, if somebody else from Colorado does, that's fine because a rising tide lifts all boats. Evergreen is a small mountain community outside of Denver, so to bring it back to, to the folks in Evergreen means a lot to me, and, and I think it'll mean a lot to them. Perfect. Let's go drink! <laughs> I hope you're as inspired as I am by the incredible efforts of our Colorado winemakers. Now join me in a toast to the wine and the winners.